and closure. More free COVID testing sites in Milwaukee are back open today. 12 News' Trine Mara is live on the south side. And Trine, that site opened just a couple of hours ago. Yeah, Aiden, good morning. So it opened at 9 in the morning and take a look behind me. There are no cars here. Uh, when we got here first, there was a line that wrapped around this kind of cul-de-sac area here. But take a look at what it looks like now. There's literally two cars in line, two cars in line here. So uh, this is the first time it's opening since the Christmas Eve closure. It was closed Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And there was a site that did open earlier. That was the Miller Park testing location. It opened on Saturday. Take a look at these images. <laughs> that is a big difference. There were crowds there in comparison to what we're seeing here. Now we have been reporting COVID case numbers every day and Eden, you and our viewers at home have probably noticed a number of positive cases reported has decreased. Now health officials say that's not the only thing you should pay attention to. I'm told the first three weeks of November between Milwaukee County's four testing sites between 18 and 19,000 people were getting tested on average. Compare that now to the first three weeks of December that dipped to an average of 11 to 12,000 tests administered. So if you, you know, do the math, we're 35 plus percent drop off at that time period. Obviously, you know, the holidays and there's other factors, but we are concerned uh, about the drop in testing. I think there is some perception that case numbers are down. However, you really have to focus on the positivity rate. So a positivity rate being the number of people being tested and the percentage of those people turning positive. That's really an important indicator of where we're at. So the big question is why that dip in testing? So I've been asking folks uh, about their testing habits. Uh, we're going to talk more about that coming up in our evening newscast. Eden, looking forward to that report. Thank you, Shernay. Some of Wisconsin's most vulnerable 